I have this sacrificial uh, skeleton torso here that I'm going to use for the body of this. And that is where it's going to stop right down here. I'll have a rod coming up in through here all the way to this connection point. And then from here down is going to be the cloud light. Now those shoulders are definitely not broad enough for a head that big. So I just made a couple of cardboard templates that I'm going to have them shoulders wider on both sides. So then I just transferred that to some foam here. And now I'm going to glue that foam on each side of here just right up like that so I can still keep this rib cage and tie it in to the pumpkin look. And for the arms, I've got some 9 gauge wire. I'm going to run it through that hole all the way across and then run it all the way out to where the hands will be. And then I'll cover that with uh, some pool noodles. And then I will hit those with some styrofoam and work those to look like this also. Okay, I've got the arms in place where I want them. That's in the orientation that I want. I still got to work on the hands, but I got these pieces glued on here and the arms are just tacked just to hold them in place. I am going to go ahead and start the foam process here on the lats up to the shoulder. I wanna just try to get this pushed into place on both sides, that way the arms will stay where they are. And then I'm gonna work on the back, on the inside, trying to keep everything pushed down and maybe work it down to about, mm, probably this last little piece right here on both sides. And then I will work it more onto the chest here I want to keep the rib cage out to about right where it starts kicking back. I think that's going to be a cool look having the rib cage. So I'll be able to kind of stain everything on the inside a little bit different than the rib cage. Spritz it with water. All right, let this sit four minutes. Come back with your gloves and start pressing this down. Keep it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the inside of the uh, chest cavity here. And I'm just gonna Go right away with it. It's much harder to get inside of this. Okay, once you spray with water, wait the four minutes, come back through, press it down, and then I'm gonna let that dry, and then I will come back and do the shoulders, and then I'll start working on the arms. So I'm just gonna fill these hands up with spray foam, and then I'm gonna slide them over the wire in the direction that I want them, and that's gonna keep them in place. And of course, I've got the scotch tape over the pool noodles, and I'm gonna scotch tape that to the hand once I have that foamed on there and that way everything will be in place and then I'm going to go ahead and wrap all of this pool noodle with scotch tape with uh, white school glue and just any kind of cloth material you can use t-shirts you can use rags you can use pillowcases whatever you want to use I like pillowcases or t-shirts because it's more of a thin type material and you just cut strips just like you're doing paper mache, wrap it around and paintbrush over it with white school glue. And that's gonna harden this up and give you a good base to come back over with your uh, expanding foam. Right now, if you put the expanding foam over the pool noodles, it's just too bendable and it flakes right off. So 
gotta stiffen that up a little bit better or use something different than pool noodles. And this is what it looks like once you have your cloth material with your white glue all dried up on there. It's much more sturdy than just a foam noodle. So if you're doing anything with foam noodles and you need to stiffen it up, keep that in mind. Just a pillowcase, a sheet, some old t-shirts, whatever you can find, some white school glue, let it dry up and it hardens up really good. And also this would actually make a really good mummy. So keep that in mind also. I'm gonna take the spray foam all over the arms here, spray it down with water, mash it down and get the arms all done. All right, arms are done, hands are on. I've got it in the pose that I want this in so it looks like it's shooting the lightning in between each hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and get paint on the torso. I still gotta do a little bit of work on the head before I think about painting it. But the head's gonna be orange and yellow and greenish anyway. The body, I'm gonna do like a green, black, a little bit of browns colors. Put some moss on it, uh, some vines. So yeah, I'm gonna get this thing painted. All right, I went ahead and threw a coat of orange on the pumpkin. Did all the inside and outside. And I'm just gonna smear black paint over the face. And I'm gonna do some green and brown on the stem up there. But that is looking pretty nasty. And I've got the torso pretty much complete. I started with orange in the chest. And then I went over it with three different greens, a light tan, and then I put some black acrylic paint into a cheap water sprayer from Dollar Tree and diluted it with water and then just sprayed all over it with that. And the head is all complete with the clear coat on it. I'm getting ready to start putting the framing around the metal base of the body. And what I'm using here is one of these trash cans from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna measure down an inch and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half, all the way down. And I'm gonna cut strips. So I can place these around the pole right here. And then I'm going to heat shrink plastic all around that. And that will give me a base to glue all of the uh, polyfill on with the lights. So if you need to, just scroll ahead a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. But first step, a little trash can or any kind of plastic pieces you can get, cut out some rings, and then you're gonna have to glue them to your base. I got a couple of quarter inch polyethylene tubing that I'm gonna run up the back of the, uh, the stand and then come out of the head there. And I just ran those into a piece of PVC, hot glued them, and then I'm gonna run them into a bigger piece of pipe which I can connect to the front of a fog machine. So I'm gonna start zip tying those up this frame and then come out where they will blast out for the face. And then I'll start putting the rings on there so I can heat shrink the plastic to it and have something to stick the polyform to. And I have all of the stiffener pieces there so hopefully this helps. You can see how that's gonna be the, the smoke-like effect going up, which is polyfill with the lights behind it. So now all you gotta do, if you're following along, is wrap your plastic around there and then heat shrink it to that, just like you would a skeleton if you're doing some kind of corpsing on skeletons. You know what I'm talking about. And then I'm gonna wrap the polyfill up around where those fog tubes are. I'm gonna come around the back of it, over the arm a little bit, and I'm gonna have some shooting down in between the hands there. Maybe wrap around the shoulder on the other side there. And just a little bit coming up in here. I don't know, I kinda gotta play with it, see how it's gonna go, but that is the idea for making that kind of smoke effect like a genie's coming out of a lamp or whatever. I still haven't decided if I want this coming out of like a little lamp or a straw bill or a hay bale or something like that. Maybe even out of a little pumpkin on the bottom. But this is the idea for that. Wrap it with plastic. And then we can start doing the fun part, adding the lights and the polyfill.
All right, I know it looks a little weird right now, but that's the idea. Wrap your plastic all around it, get your heat gun, come back and start shrinking it to that and you're gonna have that cool effect like smoke coming up in the wind. All right, get your heat gun out. Start shrinking that to it. Don't get too close with your heat gun. Just keep working it all the way around until you get it as tight as you can. If you have to, get yourself some plastic wrap from Dollar Tree. Wrap that around there so you can get it real tight. This should work pretty good though. You just keep going back and forth. Don't stay on one area too much and it's really gonna pull that plastic in tight. There we have it. That is the plastic wrap all shrank on there all the way up and around. It really kind of gives you an idea of how the base is for the polyfill. And then you just start, you know, gluing it all around. It's really easy to do. You just get your hot glue and that polyfill is just gonna glue right to that all the way around it, however you wanna do it. So whether you're gonna do a pumpkin genie or a regular genie, this is a really good idea on how to get the base done and start it and then you can start wrapping it around your character. And I'm gonna put it all around the back here to cover up these lines. Maybe a little bit more creepy cloth. I'm gonna start getting the lights on here and then putting the polyfill and then figure out what I'm gonna do for the base. Okay, you're gonna take your strip lights and wrap them all around there. I've got the end coming out there at the bottom. Wrapped around here coming up around the torso from the inside, around the back of the neck. I wanted a little droop here, and then it's gonna look like it's shooting lightning between his hand. A little tip is unravel the strip light and start on the end if you're doing this. If you're doing it like me, I wanted the end of the light to be where it looks like he's shooting lightning between his hands. All right, I got polyfill here. I've got two bags of this 16 ounce polyfill. At the time of shooting this video, it's like $5 a bag. You may need two bags if you're doing the size I'm doing, maybe more, maybe less. I'm gonna start here. All you gotta do is get a handful out, hot glue it, and stick it to it, hold it for a couple seconds. That is it. It's no more difficult than that. That is all you have to do. Get a handful, glue it, stick it on. <laughs> okay, that's the idea. You're just gonna go through and glue your polyfill all to it, all the way up around your uh, strip lights, and then you're gonna be ready to go. Okay, this is the finished product. Hopefully everybody likes this one. I'm definitely happy with how it came out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that light off. We'll get some final views on this and hopefully everybody likes this one. This is the blue color. Got some fog going. Hopefully you can see that's coming out of the face up there. This is definitely a good one. I'm very, very glad I took this project on. Uh, hopefully some of you guys will do this one too. It's very, very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and go through some colors here. Purple is definitely cool. The red is very, very effective. This is actually in my daughter's favorite color. So she really likes the red one, which is probably what I'm gonna have to have it on for Halloween. And it looks amazing. Of course, we have green, which is really, really cool. And I can also make the face change colors, too. So there we have it with the face changing colors. There's yellow. Kind of looks white on camera, but that is yellow. And this is actually like a teal color. This one looks really good also. Get a little close up here. You can kind of see how the 
arm comes out there. Got it going through the chest. Wraps around the back there. And I covered the fog lines with some of the cloud material. But this is from the back side. This thing is extremely cool. Definitely loving this one. Okay, that's it. Hopefully everybody likes this one. I definitely had fun making this project and this is gonna be one of my core staples for my Halloween display. This is gonna be an indoor display or a covered area or on Halloween night, I'll take it out and have it in the open air. But this is definitely a very awesome prop. I'm very, very proud of this one. If you guys decide to take this on, hit me up. I'll answer any of your questions. Of course, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. Bye now.